Hello, my name is Allie and welcome back to my channel. We are here with Mystic Destiny Serendipity Veyon's show's route. So let's go. I can't remember the last time I was so happy for the weekend to come. It's been a few days since the meeting between everyone and since then they have been intensely supportive for, of me and more than a little overprotective, going so far as to play quote unquote bodyguards on rotation, which meant I barely had any time for myself. I can't believe I managed to actually convince them to knock it off for now. In the end, all it took was me saying that I would just stay home all weekend, which as it turns out, might have been exactly what I needed anyway. There's so much happening in my life, it's crazy. I grin as I sit down in front of my laptop. Time to relax. With a hot chocolate in hand, I sit back and get comfortable and play click and click play. <laughs> it's been far too long since I had time to watch anything. I'm gonna take it's gonna take me so a long ugh, ugh, and I lick my microphone. It's gonna take me so long to catch up to the new episodes. I have to say, I love how she's got this huge ass TV right here, but she decides to watch episodes on her computer, on her laptop. Man, I'd be using a TV, honey. We don't have a TV at our place. We just, if we want to watch videos, we watch it either on YouTube or Netflix. We don't, and I don't want my son watching TV constantly anyway, either. So, <laughs> I use one of my old TVs. It's itty bitty TV as one of my other computer monitors. <laughs> I feel giddy at the thought of just relaxing all day and watching anime. It doesn't take me long to finish an episode, and it's only then I, no I do notice that I received an email from Sho. Oh, Sho. He's such a worrywart. I bet he's checking up on me again. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't say anything before, but I followed Julius around. He's got on he got on a plane like half an hour ago. Couldn't follow him, so went to check on, uh, out his place. I thought I might be able to find something against him. So maybe he'd back off from you. I'm in his mansion right now, and I actually think I found something. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but I think it might help. Come over. I'll wait for you. Wait, did he just break into the mansion? What? I can feel my heart sink into my stomach as I read the words. I'm in the mansion right now. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Show what the hell? That idiot. What is he thinking? I send a quick I'm coming and drop my phone on the couch as I rush to get changed. I practically jump into my shoes and run out of the apartment. My apartment. Did you forget your phone? Wouldn't surprise me. Around an hour later, I get inside of Ulysses' manor without any problem. Looks like Show left the door unlocked for me. The place seemed quiet, and without much thought, I wandered toward the ballroom. I stand at the entrance. Filled with only silence, it seems different somehow, vast and empty. I look around. Hello? Show? Are you here? I walk further into the empty ballroom. Show? This is pointless. I should just call him and ask where he is. I reach in my pocket. I reach into my pocket for my phone only to realize that I forgot to take it with me. How did I guess that was going to happen? How did I guess that? They usually don't say anything about I threw my phone down if they're not going to yeah, leave it. I sigh. Damn it. No choice then. I take a deep breath and yell at the top of my lungs. Show, where are you? No answer. I sigh again. Maybe he's upstairs then. I turn to leave the ballroom and I hear a soft thud. I stop in my tracks and look back. For a second, I wonder if I'm seeing things. A mop of blonde hair peeking out from behind one of the pillars. I feel sick. I step closer and closer. My heart nearly stops when I see Sho slumped over by one of the far-off pillars. Sh Sho? I run towards him and nearly slip on the stone floor. When I reach him, I freeze. On the ground is Sho, bound and gagged. What? Upon seeing me, he looks up at me wide-eyed, and I gasp at his bruised face. Oh my god, show what happened? 
With a shaky hand, I remove the tape from his mouth and almost immediately he yells, R Run, Munchie. Oh no. Show. Oh, it breaks my heart. Oh. What? Show? Please. It's Julius. He caught me last night and used my phone to email you. Just leave me here and run. An unpleasant chill shoots through my spine. He's not here, though, is he? <clears throat> and don't be ridiculous. I'm not leaving you here. I just have to get these damn ropes off of you. I ignore my hammering heart and work on untying show. Sorry with my voice being raspy. It's early morning for me. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I don't think he's here. Sorry, let me take a drink. After sending you the email, he left somewhere, and I haven't seen him since. <coughs> I should have guessed. She wouldn't be so stupid as to actually explore this place. I try my best to give him a smile. See? That means we can still get away to together. In hindsight, I was pan so panicked at the thought of Sho doing something so reckless. I didn't stop to think he w if he would actually would. Damn, I keep reading wrong. The ropes around his hands are tied so tight. I glare at the knots as I try to undo them. Sho looks at me with a serious expression. Munchie, before it's too late, leap. I'm not leaving you. I snap at him. Sho looks surprised at, the gl at my glare. I won't leave you. I whisper and get back to untying the ropes. With one last tug, they fall apart. Hmm? Surprised by my success for a moment, I forget to react. No, Munchie, this isn't the time to space out. I jump to my feet and Sho quickly gets up. We look around, but the ballroom still seems to be empty. Maybe we're lucky that Julius and Julius got delayed somewhere. I hear Sho whisper from behind me. Yeah, maybe. This is getting intense. I have a bad feeling, though. That's exactly what I was feeling. Bad feeling. <laughs> Let's get out of here before he decides to show up. We silently move through the room. We make it halfway across the ballroom when I hear a metallic click from above. I look up just to see one of the chandeliers detach and fall. Uh, I jump back, pulling Show along with me, barely in time to dodge the falling object. Uh, I miscalculate my steps and trip, falling backward and pulling Show down to the ground with me. As the chandelier hits the floor, it shatters into a million pieces, scattering everywhere. This is getting intense. Sho somehow manages to cover me with his body. I can feel him stiffen at the impact as the glass hits him full on. The dust settles, and we look up. A slight spark in the air catches my attention. It grows, and a whirlwind of black flame bursts through. Fourth. Oh. Holy smokes. Those wings. The nails, holy crap. Anyway, the flames scatter with the sound of flapping wings, revealing Julius in his true form. His massive black wings push away the remaining flames. As his red eyes settle on me, I realize that I can't breathe. Even with show next to me, I suddenly feel so cold. Julius smirks, playing with a bl small black flame in his hand. I see I picks right. He briefly glances at Sho before his eyes settle on me again. I was wondering whether you would come to save, come save the fake phoenix, and it appears I was correct. <laughs> Julius seems to completely disregard Sho's presence and look at me. I'm a little disappointed, though. I was expecting more of you, little butterfly. But to have you fall for the very first thing I did, I tried... He laughs. <laughs> well, that's more than a little pathetic. I muster everything I have to, into a glare. Normally I wouldn't have fallen for it. Now that I think about it, that message was plenty suspicious. But the very thought of show in any kind of danger sent me in a panic. I rushed out without even thinking about the psycho that's after me. I look to my side at show. I nearly gasp at the glare he's sending Julius' way. I've never seen him look so pissed off. Before I can react, Sho jumps to his feet. Just shut up already. He flings a fireball at Julius, who doesn't even flinch when it hits him. 
Instead, he chuckles and throws a black fireball at Sho. Sho barely manages to, ra to raise a wall of fire as a shield, but when Yulius's fireball hits it, the sheer impact sends Sho flying backwards. He flies right into a pillar with, all, with an all-too-loud thud and slumps down to the ground. Sho! I move to get up and run to him, but, one of, but out of the corner of my eye, I see Yulius start to move closer. The predatory glint in his red eyes makes me swallow hard. The grin he gives me is positively sadistic. There is one little thing I forgot to mention about how I'm going to take your power. My darling butterfly, I need to break you, both mentally and emotionally, before I can take your powers. Break me? Shall I bl bind you? He glances at Sho. Play with the little bird of yours right in front of you. Perhaps, when I'm done with him, I'll go after your dear father and sister. I can't move. Oh, might you be surprised I know about them? I know everything about you, little butterfly. My subordinate made sure of that. Specifically, a lovely young lady with black hair. Might be the ring. Might that ring a bell? No, sh she was? All that time, weeks before I ever met him, Julius was the one who was tr truly hunting me. Julius chuckles. This ritual normally kills people, but you can't die, so I wonder. It'll be an interesting experiment, testing the endurance of a true immortal. My body is shaking. Move! He seems to notice my frozen state and laughs, amused in, at my terror. It's a shame you're the only one I can test it on. There is another, but tch, he's impossible to catch. It's unfortunate, but n one immortal is more than enough. Who is he talking about? He's impossible to catch. So it's a man. Hmm. That's immortal. Anyway, sorry. I was just thinking about it going, what? Okay. He walks towards me at a leisurely pace, step by step. I can't stop shaking. I can't move. What do I do? Munchie. Huh? Sho's voice brings me back to my senses. I look back to see him clutching a bleeding arm, but my eyes shine with defiant fire. Suddenly, I feel my terror melt away. Without hesitating, I get up and get into a fighting stance, both fists cl clenched. There's no way in hell I'm going to just let you do what you want. Julius stops and gives me an odd look. Then, as if the very thought of me stopping him is somehow the most ridiculous thing he's ever heard, he bursts out into laughter. My eye twitches in irritation. <laughs> you? Stop me? Do you even know what you're doing? You? are so new at this. You have, have you ever been in a real fight before, girl? We are going to admit it. In the moment of pure frustration, I decide to just admit it. There's no point in lying. He'll see it all for himself anyway. So maybe I don't quite know what I'm doing. But that will not stop me from trying. At first, Julius doesn't say anything, but his expression says it all. That he's right and I know nothing. So I was correct after all. Although, I'm not surprised. It does appear that Sh Shizuka truly taught you nothing. Sh Shizuka? Her name is the last thing I expect to come out of his lips. Oh, surprised I know that name. He chuckles. It appears she kept many secrets from you. Ulysses begins slowly walking back and forth as he speaks. My eyes follow him as if he was a viper that might strike at any moment, but he never takes a step toward me. He just enjoys the sound of his own voice, or he's doing this to mess with me, probably both. Ah, the legendary sorceress Shizuka. There are few who do not know of her. A woman so skilled and powerful, she could stand her ground against the gods, all on her own. 
He pauses, a smile tugs on his lips. However, it's anything but gentle. And then there's you. <laughs> I admit it. I went after you because I knew defeating Shizuka would be impossible. When she gave up her powers like that, I saw it as an opportunity. I'm sorry to say, little butterfly, you are very easy prey. Regardless of what he says, he doesn't look sorry at all. I open my mouth in reply when he suddenly throws a fireball at me. I am going to let you guys go here. I hope you are enjoying. It's getting intense. See you next one. Bye.